since MIDI Composer 8.9, we've had the ability to add colors here to our source and record monitor and also for our input section here to help differentiate exactly uh, what we're doing, where our media is coming from, so on and so forth. So first make sure you have your project window open, which you should come here to your settings tab, come down here to interface. And you can see right here under highlight color, which is over here, but under that, we have two new options. One is show source record colors in composer, and then show source record colors in timeline. We can highlight these and you can sort of get a, uh, a pop out there of what they do. So use a colored position bar under the composer monitors, green when viewing source, blue when viewing record. So let's go ahead and check this one out first. We'll just click right here, click apply. And there you go. We'll go ahead and close this down here. And you can immediately see this green bar that was added to our source monitor here. And then the blue bar that was added here on, uh, on our record monitor. Okay. Of, you know, it could be very helpful to, uh, to help you differentiate, you know, what monitors you, uh, you know, happen to be, you know, viewing, viewing at the, uh, at the time there. Okay. Now the next option here, come back to interface, double click that, open that up. The next option, we'll just highlight this here, show source record colors in timeline. That's going to use green instead of the highlight color for source side track enable buttons and blue for record side. So right now I have my highlight color to this orange. Let's go ahead and uh, actually come over, look over here. Let me hit cancel. If you look over here at this highlight color, we'll just turn these on here. You can see they're all highlighted in orange. All right. Same for this clip here, which is V1, where I patch that to, right? This is highlighted in orange as well. Okay. Come back to interface. I just want to explain exactly what this does. We'll go ahead and click that. Choose apply. Now look over here. You see how our highlight color changed for these here. So now we know, okay, well, we're working with our source. So now we know this is, is green. We can visually see that green right there. And then we look at this blue highlight color and say, ah, that is connected to our timeline. So this may be helpful for uh, beginning editors or just people who like color coding. I actually happen to like color coding quite a bit. So now we know green is going into blue. So if I cut this in, there we go. It may just be, you know, just a visual uh, indicator there. This is, this is actually a feature, both of these features here from our source record colors and our, our input uh, colors here for our timeline. This actually came from uh, Media Composer first, which is Abbott's free version, a free limited version of Media Composer. If you don't have Media Composer or an NLE to edit your videos, go pick up Media Composer first, absolutely for free. This, of course, this color coding, of course, uh, also applies to clips that have audio on them. I don't have any clips here with audio on them, but I do have some audio in here. So if I choose an audio track, so we can see our highlight colors right here are green, patch this down here, and it's saying green going into blue, so that way I can recognize that right off the bat. All right, pretty, pretty cool, pretty cool stuff that we have here. You know, like I said, if you're a fan of color coding, that's just a couple more options that you have here in Media Composer to help color code uh, your interface. So maybe it will help you recognize things a little bit quicker. It also just brightens up the interface a little bit. So once again, make sure you come here to settings and interface, just double click that and your new options will be right here. Show source record colors in Composer and show source record colors in Timeline. Anytime you want, you can turn them on or off. You can turn them off. There we go. And now these colors are back to back to orange both of them are orange and we have no color on the source or record you want them back on again interface turn one on turn both on apply and there you go source record colors here in avid media composer